Hey everybody, welcome to this week's review retrospective of Star Wars The Bad Batch. This episode this week was called Faster and it's season 2 episode 5. So in this episode, uh, it's a little different uh, from the last one. Uh, so the last one, if you remember, it was a war zone. But this one, this one takes place in a civilian world. And so we're looking at uh, racing. So in the beginning of the episode, we have uh, we have Omega and Wrecker. They're playing 3D chess. Or I think that's the name of the game that they're playing. Either way, uh, Omega crushes Wrecker because, of course, Omega is the brains. But, you know, and Sid walks up to them, hey, why don't you quit playing, quit using the power, running the power bill up. It kind of sounds, kind of, kind of sounds like something our parents would say when we were kids. Don't watch TV, quit, turn the TV off, you're, uh, you're going to run the power up. Yeah. Well, anyway, so one thing leads to another. They, you know, she starts letting them know, hey, we got to go to this place, but I don't have time to tell you about what we're doing or where we're going, but I'm going to need your help. And so they they grudgingly go because they have to. And so they get to this planet and come to find out it's racing. And so they don't outright tell you what the uh, the racing is. And in the beginning, it sounds like there there's that you know it has sounds and the track kind of looks like it could be pod racing, but it isn't pod racing. Instead, this kind of racing is just what they call riot racing. And so, so a few differences from pod racing. Uh, so if you remember in pod racing, these, those racers, there's no weapons, there's no shields, not officially, but in riot racing, it, it's different. And so these racers, they have shields, they have weapons, and because they, those, because those are allowed, um, they also have uh, other cheat things that would make Sebulba blush. And so they they uh, consequently have a lot of droid racers too because it's very dangerous. And so uh, we find out right right in the get, get go that uh, that Sid has a new racer and that uh, the name of this racer is Teo. And so we don't know anything about Teo until after the race and we find out that he's a droid. And so he, uh, you know, he kind of sounded like Niku from Star Wars Resistance. And it's not, it's not the same voice actor, but they both seem to have kind of the same energies. Right after getting introduced to Teo uh, and, the, and the whole group gets introduced, um, they, they run into trouble. And this guy named... Uh, Grinny Malegi, and he's well, like some sort of a rival to Sid. So there's definitely some history between these two, and they don't like each other, but they put up with each other because they're both in the uh, racing segment. And so I think we're going to see more of him in this season, or e even if not this season, definitely in the future. And uh, but at any rate, so they place a bet with each other, Sid and Malegi do. And uh, one thing leads to another. So right before they placed the bet, Teo actually got smashed because um, his racer got blown up and this thing was in pieces. Of course, oh, you've got a day to do this. And because of Disney magic, they get the racer back together. They get Teo back together. They're getting ready to do the race. And somebody is doing some warm-up laps and flies off, goes onto the ramp and smashes Teo again. So Teo's out of commission. The second time, and uh, from what it looks like, I think that should be the end of Teo. And so it's Tech that ends up stepping up saying, hey, I'll do the race. Because he's been analyzing it. You know, and I'm not going to spoil the whole episode for you. I mean, if you haven't watched it, you should really watch it. But if you haven't watched it, you shouldn't be watching this. But, uh, you know, my point is, he ends up winning the race. And uh, he does it in a very creative way. He drops his weapons pod. He uh, takes the left track that uh, that's supposedly a death trap. And it is because, well, it is. Well, so anyway, at the end, you know, throughout this, uh, while they were doing this race, I uh, want to backtrack to the bet. A collateral Malegi took Sid. And so 
throughout the race, throughout everything, we're, we're hit with, you know, scenes from them where, like, he's pointing out, oh, just like old times, Sid, we're, let's do this like old times, and, and I think we kind of get uh, the impression that Sid, at one point, was quite the scoundrel, and so, and I think that's what Malegi remembers her about. And so, of course, you know, after Tech wins the race and Sid walks off and the Bad Batch is walking behind him, you know, Malegi stops the Bad Batch and basically says, hey, you know, when it comes to Sid, you need to watch your back because, you know, the loyalty is admirable, but it doesn't always end well. And so, to me, that kind of sounds like those that Malegi and Sid used to be business partners, and he too was loyal to Sid. They worked, they probably worked together, they probably made a lot of money together, and then Sid screwed him. And so, you know, because again, Sid points out to Malegi, no, it's not going to be like old times, and maybe this time it'll be different, which kind of sounds like just maybe, just maybe, um, she didn't screw Malegi on purpose, like something bad happened, and it was her or him, and of course, she chose herself. Um, so, you know, that's, but that's, you know, this opens up a lot of doors. Uh, I, I, you know, the racing was really cool, the riot racing. I feel like the riot racing, we're probably not going to see a whole lot more of, which is, which is too bad, because just like pod racing in episode one, if this was in a movie, we'd have a whole video game about riot racing. So I hope somebody out there does does something with riot racing. I want to see more of that. That's really cool. But um, but as far as this development with the Bad Batch and Sid and Malegi, um, so I think Malegi is. We're going to see more of him. I think we're going to uh, learn more about the past between him and Sid. So it makes you wonder what, what did Sid do so bad to Malegi that they're now rivals instead of clearly um, business partners in the past. And so they're, you know, I want to see more. Uh, I don't know about you, but why don't you leave in the comments, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think Sid's going to betray the Bad Batch? Um, I think that's a deeper question given this is an entire series. Um, but, you know, the Bad Batch could uh, take a few, you know, finish the season out with Sid and then end up going somewhere else. So, we, you know, anything's possible. So do you think that Sid's going to betray, betray the Bad Batch? Do you think that um, that Malegi is really the scoundrel that they're portraying him as? Do you think, you know, do you think that maybe the Bad Batch will quit working for Sid and go work for Malegi? I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Um because this is really fascinating, this opens, because of course the thing with Sid is, you know, somebody who's got all these contacts that are bounty hunters and shifty, shady kind of people, it doesn't come as a surprise that she's got a shady, crazy past, and so, you know, anything's possible, but it sounds like maybe she's been trying to go legit, or maybe, maybe she's not as legit as she's being played off as maybe she's still a scoundrel and she's just taking advantage of the bad batch because they're really good at what they do and they can make her a bunch of money but hey leave your comments below and i'll see you on the next one